Hello kids, I hope you all are having a great time with your family. I'm very happy to tell you all that finally it's time to enter grade 3. You'll have new books, you'll have new friends, new teachers, new class. Excited, aren't you? But the need of the hour is social distancing. Which means we won't be able to meet in school for the next few days. But till then, we'll teach you online through videos. Ready? Now today I'm going to teach you mathematics. Lesson 1, numbers. Come on, let's start. You already know counting up to three digit numbers, right? Let's revise some of the parts. Do you remember the smallest two digit number? Think, think. Yeah, it's one, zero, ten. Perfect. Now, do you remember the largest two digit number? Yeah, it's nine, nine, ninety nine. Correct. Now, what happens when we add one to ninety nine? We get 100 and a new column of H, which is hundreds. The spelling of 100, I hope you remember. Now moving to largest three digit number. Come on, tell me, what's it? Exactly, 999. Good, you're moving great. Now what happens when we add 1 to 999, we get thousands, a new column of thousands. And this is a four digit number. Let's count. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Exactly. Let's have a look at some more examples of four digit number. 1008. It will be better for us to read the number if we write one tens, hundred, thousands on the top of it. Now it can be easily labeled. Under thousands, we have one. Under hundreds and tens, we have zeros. So which makes it one thousand and eight. One thousand eight. In next number, under thousand, we have two. So 2,000. Under 100 we have 3. So we'll write 300. Under 10s we have 4. We'll write 40. And 0 under 1s. So 2,340. Easy, right? Let's look at one more example. Under 1,000s we have 5. So we'll write 5,000. Under 100s we have 1. 100. 20 and 3. Easy? Now I think you can try on your own. Try to write in words. I have given you four numbers. 